Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked. Today we're at Freshies Ice Cream and Soda Fountain and we're gonna be doing a little stock photography. So let's dive right into it. So one of the first things I did when I first came into the shop today was to figure out exactly where I wanted to shoot. To figure out what my background wanted to be, what I wanted my foreground to be, what I actually wanted to set the ice cream on. And we've gone with some of these cutting boards right here that we had here at the shop. And then to kind of go with the theme and color of the place, because that's something that's really important when you're doing any type of uh, product photography, food photography, whatever, uh, there at the restaurant. So we decided we're going to try to use this, this uh, nice pink backdrop. And so we're gonna set the ice cream here. We're gonna shoot it at an angle. We're probably not gonna do any top down. We're using the Zion X100 uh, new light. So we're gonna try to do most of the photography with just one light. As well, there's two, two different types of product photography or stock photography. One where you do what's called focus stacking, where we take multiple pictures of the same product and then we stack them all together and it's like a super sharp product. So if you want something to really pop or make it easy to be cut out, Focus stacking can be pretty awesome. We'll talk a little bit about that along the way. And then the other option is just picking a nice depth of field, probably around five to six f-stop, um, and just get the product with a little bit of back blur and get that nice shallow depth of focus. As well, lighting is extremely important for this, so we're gonna start off with one light, but we might have to build it into multiple lights to really get the shadows the way I want them to look, because I want that nice, vibrant, poppy feel to this, because this whole entire place has very vibrant feels to it, right? Not super contrasty, just very vibrant. So we've been in here shooting for about uh, 30, 45 minutes, and we've gotten some amazing shots. Things to think about when shooting. Um, we always pretty much use a tripod, so especially if we're taking multiple pictures for that focus stacking, as I described earlier, um, you want a nice steady shot that isn't gonna move each individual focus point. So one thing that really helps is by putting it on a tripod and just take, I just take my finger and just point to the spot that I wanna focus. And then once I have that on, I'll move on to the next shot. So something else that we thought about is adding these uh, rainbow sprinkles and chopped nuts to add a little bit more oomph to the shot so that it will really pop um, so that there's just more going on. It just really elaborates and shows the ice cream. Because again, that's our main product. We want to really show the ice cream off. So how can we do that? We want to push everything in towards the ice cream and get those colors. <music> locations. Um, we wanted to get a couple shots using this background of this mural right here. Um, what we've done is we've done a couple where we've just used the white table and it's worked fantastically. Again, just running two lights with my 28 to 75 uh, Tamron. Um, and then I'm using a 42, or 34 inch beauty dish, which is going to make everything super, super soft, which is exactly what I want. We want soft, vibrant colors, not something overly contrasted where it's super dark. Something else that we've used for a couple of the shots are these uh, V-flat uh, backdrops. Um, we've actually not been using them as backdrops as much as something to set uh, more of a tabletop and they've been fantastic for some of the shots when we've been doing some of the tabletop shots um, up against this mural right here. So these things have just been invaluable today. 